hello guys you're welcome back to my channel so if you're new here thanks for stopping by and please consider subscribing if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so when it comes to front twist dress i usually get bored and confused but this is a very simple and easy approach to it so i'll ask that you wash it to the end if it's something you like to wash so first up i'm drafting the pattern and i'm creating my neck of three inches dead and three inches width on my shoulder line there i am marking half of my shoulder measurement and at that point i will go down with one inch and i will connect that to meet my neck width so next i will place half of my shoulder measurement again i'll mark it and get the midpoint of it that midpoint I'll be going in with half inch letter to create my arm cuff. So now I'll connect the dot and that will be my arm cuff line. On my chest line, I'm marking one quarter of my bust measurement plus one inch as my same allowance. I'll draw the line and then I'll go back to that midpoint. Like I said, I'm going inwards with half inch and I'll use the cuff part of my pattern master to create my arm cuff. Next, I will have to place the vertical dimensions of my measurement and from my shoulder line, I'm going to make use of my bust point. So I'll mark that at 11 inches. I'll mark my half length of 16 inches and then my hip line of 25 inches. So for my knee line, I would like to measure from my waist line. So from my waist line, I'm measuring 18 inches downwards and that's my knee line. I'll place the, the gown length and then I'm adding 2 inches for the hemming allowance. So I'll draw these lines out. I'll just go ahead and level this. My chest line, bust point, my waist line, that's the half length. And then my hip line, my knee line and the gown length. Okay, so I'm going to place one quarter of my waist measurement there on my half length plus one inch for that and one inch again for same allowance on my hip i'm placing one quarter of my hip measurements plus the same allowance on my knee line whatever i have there on my hip line i'm going to subtract one inch from it and then i will add same allowance i'm placing exactly what i have on my knee line on my length and then I'll connect this dot. So when I'm done with that, I'm cutting this out. And before I go forward, you know, before I go ahead to do the twist, I'm going to cut my back bodies first. At this point, you can choose to cut your lining first because your lining will have the twist. So you will just use the front bodies, okay, to cut your lining both for the front and for the back. And of course, the neckline will be different. So for my back bodies, I'm just going to make this one inch higher at my shoulder line. And I'm like, I'm curved there. I'm using half inch wider for my back bodies. And then I used about two inches there for my zipper allowance okay at my knee i'm going what's with one inch and then i created that arc there just to give it fitting at my back so i'm cutting this out and that's for my back bodies so now for the contouring on the back bodies at my you know at my knee i went in with one inch and that's what i used to connect to my hip line all the way down to my hem then I will go in at my waistline you know my back half length I'll go in there with one inch I'm gonna connect that to meet the hip line and then I'll connect it to you know um, to towards my shoulder line okay so that's the contouring for the back I'm cutting this out and and I will create my dart, okay, so at the back half length. 
so my dart i'm measuring four inches inward plus half inch there and half inch again i'm creating my dart and i'll replicate this on the other side so for the neckline on the back bodies i'm going downwards with three inches and i'm connecting my neck width to that depth and i'm cutting this out so that will be it for the back bodies and then we we'll go ahead to the front bodies For the front bodies, from the half length, I am placing a kind of overlap and I've added about two and a half inches of a fresh paper to this pattern. So from my neck width, I'm connecting it to meet that half length and then I will draw the half length line, the west line to meet that overlap. So the next thing, I will create my dart. Okay. And I'll connect it to meet my boss point. For the boss that I'm going downwards from my boss point line with one inch, and I'm connecting that to meet my nipple to nipple point. Okay, so this dart we are forming from the nipple to nipple point. And for the hip line, you know, for the down part of the dart, I'm stopping two inches before my hip line. And I will connect that, my nipple to nipple line downwards. Okay, so I'm using about six inches there to create this dart. And because we'll be using this to manipulate the twist, so I'm going to cut this out to the half length and then the neckline. That neckline, I am connecting it all the way to that overlap. You know, I'll need no slash for me to manipulate that twist. So through the neckline there, I'm just using half inch, okay, as that there. And then I'm connecting another line from the boss point to meet that overlap. So I'm going to slash this open, okay, and then the dart I created on my neckline there, I will cut it to the boss point and then I'll close it up. Tape it down and trim out the excess that I have there and that will be for my neckline. So I'll be... Cutting this dart out, you know, the boss dart and the waist dart, I'm going to manipulate them out. So I'm slash, I'll am slash, i slash it open and then tape it down. Close it up and tape it down. So for me to open my boss, um, boss dart, you know, I will need another slash. So I'm drawing a line in between my dart, okay, beside my dart there. And then I'll cut open my boss that close it up and tape it down. So looking at what I have there, I, I need more room for my twist because I, I, I want it a bit bold. So I'm going to just slash another line through my arm, you know, my under my arm curve. So I will slash it not slash through i'll just cut it and leave about half inch before the edge and with this i think i will have a good twist so for the skirt part i'm just gonna cuff it few inches below the hip line i'll cuff it through the that point and then i'll stop it half inch after my front center line so to manipulate the that you know the west that there i'm gonna cut this line that i've drawn a bit open and then i'll slash open my dart close it up and then tape it down so
so to have more room i'm just gonna space it with two and a half inches but on the west line there i'm using half inch so i'm simply connecting this you know more like curves there and then i'll slash them open not through open and i'm opening all the lines now so we are done and i've placed it on the fabric okay so now when you're placing it on the fabric you have to make them you know very you have to make them get connected okay so just like you can see it in this video all the slashes meet so if you have any issue you know making them pointed to each other then you need to slash again and make sure they are you know disconnected so i will not cut it through and then because of the neckline there i am opening that midpoint you can choose to make it folded if you so wish but i want it to be for i mean to be hemmed so i'm going to double fold it that midpoint ironed and this is it so for the twist now i'm just simply gonna make it at that waistline so i'm gonna push it up pin it reach the other side you know that's the left side i'll push it pin it and then make the twist so it's just a simple one so i'm gonna make one there and because we have to you know we have to see the right side of the fabric you're simply just twisting making sure that the neckline is okay so at the waistline there i'm simply gonna sew that those you know those slashes together with half inch on both sides you sew it very close to where you have the twist like this so when you're done with that for my opening because i don't want that open i'm gonna go up with about 12 inches from my hem allowance 12 inches okay so i'll be able to work freely so i'm just gonna sew it down you know sew it together on that midpoint there so it's very close to where i have the twist and when i'm done with that i'll bring in the back bodies that i've installed the zipper i'm gonna use you know a matching bias to turn the neck of this back you know to turn the neckline for the back bodies so i will join it at the shoulder line there i'll bring the two shoulder together the back and the front take out my seam allowance and then um make the hemming so at this point i would like to advise that you use a very stretchy fabric for this okay but if you must use the script just like i used this is about 1.5 yards you will need to add more seam allowance so it will not be too tight so for the sleeves i'm just gonna make do with the pieces i have here and i'm simply gonna make a a little flaunt so i'll get the midpoint of this fabric and i'm using one inch to form a circle so from my flaunt now from that outer circle i'm just marking three inches all the way around i want to believe we have an idea on how to make a flounce so this is it and i'm just gonna create this and cut it out so when i cut it out i, I will just double fold the edges iron and then insert it as sleeves but along the line i discovered that it is still made it open because i i created the arm curve with the intention of making a full sleeve but because i just made do with one and a half you know one and a half yards of this fabric so i didn't have much for the sleeve so i made a basic sleeve with another fabric so now that basic sleeve tutorial i'm gonna leave the link in the description box in case you don't have any idea how to go about it so this will be it so this flounce will just be a part of that sleeve there it is a part of that sleeve and then i have a basic sleeve to just cover it up for me so this is the twist and this is how it looks like on me 
I think it was a bit tight around the waist. That's why I'm advising that if you're going to make it with the crepe, you need to add more room, you know. So if you don't want it this fitted, you can still rock your dress regardless. So if this video adds any value to you at all, please give me a thumbs up, comment and share. Thank you for watching.